T1 is there, but they. Uh, T1. This is not equal. You are checking or another one. T1, right? Yes. Oh, correct. This is correct. Okay, I am reprocessing. For reprocessing, I lock. Right? Just now I correct it. Okay, I assume that I correct it. I got an error, I correct it. Okay, and just uh, so take your IDOC number and uh, you need to like an automated payment program. Okay, so you will refresh that. You will re uh, uh, you will do the cancelling and again reprocess, right? Like that here is also any error is there. Okay, then you will correct it. Then you go to reprocess. For reprocessing, what is the T code? BD87. Okay, so you will see this is I think you didn't find anything. I will remove this data because this is past IDOC. That's the reason it's not coming. This is the this is the other right IDOC continent status. And you want to reprocess this? Click reprocess. You must select no. Okay. See, this is the still error. Still error. So no global company code assigned to company code. This is a still error. And you can also check this issue in Google also. I think you will find out. Control Y. This is the normal issue. Just I'm showing you basic settings. I dog. Minute. Go on the. Same logical system. Line. See something missed out in the configuration area. to check the modeling and implementation global understanding okay just to give me a moment I will follow this one okay. what is next Business management or IDOC interface and modeling business process, global organization units, task company code. Okay, assign task company code to business area. Okay, it's done. Now I will do a refresh again, reprocess again, IDOC. The same I know. Actually, I think we'll check any error is there. See, or I'll do this. Okay, see, this is a new error. You can see this is the new error, right? Earlier error was gone. We cleared that error. This is new error. I doc ready for dispatch ELD services. Just look at this. You select and again process. The IDOC passed to port token. Your IDOC has been successfully port token. Okay, so you just take this IDOC and go to W0 and remove this. Date say just remove this and put over here and execute. See, this is successful status. So this is the way we can troubleshoot the issue. So uh, this is just like one kind of global company code related error. Okay, this is configuration issue. Okay, so I reprocess this and I configure and I reprocess. Now the issue has been clear. So in real time, 
so you need to do this like you need to find out uh, what kind of error is coming and just find out root cause then resolve the issue and then go to bd87 and reprocess the system 